today we are changing the zincs on our sail drive legs. Hi there, we've decided to put together some short technical videos documenting some of the repairs and maintenance that we get up to on Double Trouble. This won't be a regular thing, we'll just publish them when we think there is something relevant to show. So if there's any particular topics that you would like to see, please let us know in the comments below. We have Volvo three-bladed folding props and we have two sets of zincs. The first are on the actual sail drive leg. I've just had a quick look at them, they're fine. They seem to last probably a couple of years for some reason. We do have some more zincs that are on our props themselves and they go around in a collar. So I've got some here and these uh, haven't lasted as long. They're not quite as big so we're going to be looking at changing them out today. These go around the prop shaft. We're going to change them in the water. So we haven't done this before on our boat. We normally do it when we haul out and we aren't planning on uh, getting the boat out of the water in the short term. One thing that we use is uh, Loctite. So we typically use this on dry land. The nice thing about that is you're not in the water and uh, the Loctite uh, has a chance to stick to the screw and then when you screw it in it acts like a glue so the screw doesn't fall out and then you don't lose any zinc anodes. We've only got the 243 Loctite which is not technically waterproof but apparently there is a little bit of a trick. You can put this on the screw thread, leave it to dry for an hour, it'll go tacky and stick and then uh, you can use it in the water. Alternatively you could use a 248 Loctite which we haven't got access to and there is a few other products as well if you check the comments and the link below. Some of the things that we're going to be using to do an in-water zinc change we obviously need the zincs. Uh, we're using uh, Volvo uh, zincs which are quite pricey. Uh, there are a number of other uh, aftermarket parts that you can get uh, Marta are a good option. They have zinc starting at around $15 uh, and uh, these Volvo ones they're probably in the region of about 30 so there's some savings there. Again the links are below if you want to check those out. We're going to remove the existing zincs and then we just need to clean up the, the area that they're going to be installed in. So to do that we have some green scrubby stuff that will uh, allow us to just get rid of any growth uh, and make sure that these zincs have a nice clean contact onto the brass of the prop. Some wet and dry sandpaper, just some fine grade stuff um, and I can, uh, I can use that to make sure everything is super clean. I've also got a waterproof uh, screwdriver that uh, I can use if I've got any tough bits that I need to chip out then I can use that in conjunction with this that will get it all nice and clean. There are some metric allen keys, see what size you need and then take that down into the water with you and, uh, and screw it in. Because we're going to be in the water you obviously need some seeing goggles so we've got a, a nice underwater mask here. In my case I'm going to be using a snorkel uh, but if, uh, if we needed to then we would also uh, use our dive gear and just roll in with those. I'm going to get one of our buckets with a bit of string over the top and put it underneath the drive and then if we do uh, knock anything or anything uh, falls then it will fall into the bucket and it won't fall to the bottom of the sea. With the Loctite give it a good mix and then uh, just apply it gently to the thread and then you just leave it for an hour to soak in and dry. So shock horror I've just read the manual and on the zincs they also recommend you get some oxidization on this as it's in the air and they recommend that you give it a good clean um, either with uh, a, a very rough buffer or I'm actually just going to use some sandpaper uh, and, uh, and just clean all this up so that it's, it's fresh. idea of snorkeling, free diving. Yeah. It's going to take too long. Why bother? I've got a tank. When you've got scuba gear. Yeah, the uh, surprising thing for me, I tried it with the snorkel, it's it's fine, but there's a surprising amount of current that you're always kicking against, so it's just going to be easier just to throw this on.
use the old zincs uh, and as you can see they look a little bit different to the new ones so after a year definitely time to uh, change them out and uh, yeah the new ones will continue to do their job thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please subscribe and leave us a comment below if you'd like to support our journey please head over to our Kofi page and buy us a coffee for real-time updates, please check our Facebook and Instagram pages.